Article 14 Equality Before Law the state shall not deny to any person equality before the law or the equal protection of the laws within the territory of India. The term state in Article 14 means as defined by Article 4, uh, 12. Thus, it includes not only the legislative as well as executive organs of the state, but also the local authorities, the instrumentalities and agencies of the government. The content of the right under Article 14 has been embodied in two phrases that is equality before law and equal protection of laws. So let's begin with equality before law. Equality before law is an expression of English common law. It is a negative concept that implies the absence of any special privilege in favor of any individual. It ensures that all are equal before law. According to Jennings, equality before the law means that among equals the law should be equal and should be equally administered, that like should be treated alike. The right to sue and be sued, to prosecute and to be prosecuted for the same kind of action should be same for all citizens of full age and understanding without distinction of race, religion, wealth social status or political influence. The expression equality before law is similar to the second meaning of Dicey's concept of the rule of law. According to Dicey, the rule of law means equality before the law or the equal subjection of all classes to the ordinary law of the land administered by the ordinary law courts. The law makes no distinction between a chief minister and a common man or between the chief secretary and a clerk. Each one is responsible for his acts. Because of absence of privilege, the phrase equality before the law is termed as a negative concept. Now let's move on towards equal, equal protection of laws. The expression equal protection of laws owes its origin to the American constitution. Section 1 of the 14th Amendment of American Constitution. It means that the same laws shall apply to all who are similarly situated, that is, all persons who are in the same circumstances will be governed by the same set of rules. It is a guarantee of equal treatment. The rule is like should be treated alike. Over here we have a case and the name of the case is State of West Bengal versus Anwar Ali Sarkar All India Report 1952 Supreme Court 75 The Supreme Court observed that equal protection of laws means that all persons similarly circumstanced should be treated alike both in privileges conferred and liabilities imposed This expression is regarded as positive concept because it expects a positive action from the state. Now, a question arises over here. What is the difference between equality before the law and equal protection of law? So, let's see. Prime FSI, the expression equality before the law and equal protection of the laws seem to be identical but in fact they mean different things. Equality before law is substantive part and equal protection of law is procedural security. Substantive law cannot be arbitrary and discriminatory whereas procedural law cannot go against natural justice and cannot be unfair, unjust and unreasonable. Case Sri Srinivasa Theatre vs. Government of Tamil Nadu All India Report 1992 2 Supreme Court Cases 643 so in this case it was held that the two expressions that is equality before law and equal protection of law do not mean the same thing and suggest a more fundamental difference. He observed that the word law in the expression equality before law meant law in the general sense whereas the same word in the expression equal protection of the laws denoted specific laws. He further observed that equality before the law is a dynamic concept 
having many facets one facet denoting the absence of any privileged class or person who was above the law and the other denoting the obligation of the state to bring about a more equal society as envisaged in the preamble and part 4 of the constitution thus finally it can be said that aim of both the concepts equality before law and equal protection of law is the equal justice actually equal protection of law is corollary of the equality before the law it is difficult to imagine that equality before law can be maintained without maintaining the equal protection of law so now let's move on towards the ex exceptions to equality before the law first the president or the governor is not answerable to any court for the exercise and performance of the powers and duties of his office or for any act done or purporting to be done by him in the exercise and performance of those powers and duties it is under article 361 sub clause 1 second no criminal proceedings shall be instituted or continued against the president or the governor during his terms of office it's under article 361 sub clause 2 third no civil proceedings in which relief is claimed against the president or the governor shall be instituted during his term of office in respect of any act done or purporting to be done by him in his personal capacity whether before or after he entered in his office until expiration of 2 months next after notice in writing has been duly served on the president or the governor as the case may be it's under article 361 sub clause 3 The fourth point is no person shall be liable to lay so it's a typing error over here it's basically lay civil or criminal proceedings in respect of the publication in a newspaper or by radio or tv etc of a substantially true report of the proceedings of legislative assembly or council fifth rulers of foreign countries their ambassadors etc enjoy immunity from civil and criminal proceedings in india sixth the united nations and its agencies are entitled to diplomatic immunity seventh members of parliament and the state legislatures are not liable in respect of anything done or said within the house it's uh, stated under article 105 and 194 of the indian constitution it article 31c forms an exception by excluding some laws from the purview of article 14 so by all the above stated facts i would like to say article 14 does not guarantee absolute equality it guarantees similarity of treatment and it does not guarantee identical treatment it does not provide that all laws must be uniform article 14 ensures that like shall be treated alike but it does not provide that unlike shall be treated alike treating an equal as equal is discriminatory neither equal can be treated unequally nor unequals can be treated equally article 14 ensures equality amongst equals thanks for watching do like share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day